Hi guys, I hope that you're very well. It's Silvana here and I am back for a new episode on the Jewels and Gems YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today guys, we will be talking about um, a crystal that's perfect for this area season and uh, that is the beautiful, the one and only hematite so we're going to talk about everything there is for you to know about hematite so the properties the um, meaning the uses how you can use it the you know zodiac signs associated with it as well as the chakra healing side of things as we always do on this channel so and of course a few more bits of information that you guys might be interested in so if you're ready let's get started so i'm going to show you some hematite here well i'm so i would imagine you guys are probably well versed into what hematite is and how it looks like it's one of those um crystals that would be considered quite popular um and easy enough to find in tumble stones and smooth stones and stuff uh, a little bit more tricky to find in jewelry form, I feel. Um, before you go and check on the website, we are in the process of adding some hematite jewelry on the website. So if it should be there by now, if not already, if it's not there already, I would suggest to hold on and it should come up at some stage. And here I have some hematite just to show you. So you can see it's a very, um, very unusual one can see here it's kind of a silvery look to it it's quite heavy and we're going to talk about what that means because in the crystal healing realm that you know the weight of a stone can also say a lot about its properties so we're gonna tell you everything there is for you to know about it so uh to get started well hematite would be one of those uh that would be associated with the idea of um, you know balancing grounding and uh, you know if you if you for example happen to have some or if you've never had it but you're wondering how it feels like as I said it feels heavy but it also feels cold there's a slight cold feeling about it you know which is very good because hematite is great for someone that's very fiery in the sense that it's going to cool you down it's going to bring back it's going to bring you back to a peaceful state of mind and really focus on that sense of um you know working with your subtle energies to balance them out and make sure they're they're all they're completely even you know and of course because of the weight it makes it a great crystal for grounding obviously and um you know it's going to be great that way to really focus on that sense of, of heaviness and weight to really anchor you into the earth. Um, the thing to know about hematite is that uh, it gets that weight, funny enough, from its iron content. This is what really allows it to really get that, that sense of, uh, of weight and, and heaviness and um you know by bring by really bringing you down to earth as we said because it grounds you it's great grounding is very important if you happen to be someone that uh for example um ha spends too much time up there you know and you think too much you overthink you spend too much time um uh, just you know envisioning things you know like speculating and just you know kind of wasting your time you could say you know by worrying about things that you know could be just potentialities but there's no actual proof that any of, of these things will happen so great for someone that's very much so that 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 way inclined and that needs a little bit of ease of the mind and really to uh, calm down that sense of of mental um stimulation that might be just overboard and uh, great for releasing stress, uh, of course, tension, any type of worry, any type of nervousness. You can see why here hematite would be great for that purpose. And, um, you know, I really also like hematite because it's going to be one of those associated also with transformation. 
Now let me show you here. That's one of my own pieces here. This is, uh, now this is a bit different. This is not exactly hematite, it's hematite in Gotet, which is, you know, a bit of a mix of two different minerals, but it does have a nice bit of, of hematite um, ratio in it. So just to give you an idea, this would be another type, and it is quite heavy and uh, it feels, it feels very unusual, but yeah. That would be rough it's not being polished that's literally how it comes and how it looks it, it creates and forms into those funny looking bubbles you know here for that particular type let me see if i can find another one here just to show you as an example because it'd be easier for me to do it like that you can see here very unusual looking bubbles and basically I, I like it as a stone of transformation because it's really going to um, help to absorb all those negative energies that we've just talked about and calm you down. And by doing so, it means it's not just balancing, but it's also protective. Uh, so definitely great for uh, all those elements. And uh, if we were to talk about something else, well, we said it's calming too. So uh, great if you are someone that tends to be very confrontational with people or, you know, if, for example, you are in a situation where you tend to face a lot of conflict, uh, definitely I would suggest to try working with hematite because it just helps to calm, this, calm, calm it all down and relax and, um, you know, as we said, clarity of mind stress control it is believed now you know me guys i don't really usually tend to go so much to the root of uh physical healing because you know for me this is something that uh it's not what i specialize in this is not my area of expertise but it is known to be associated with helping with enhancing your memory so if this is some if you were looking into a crystal to help in that side of things maybe you could give it a try um you know and apart from that as we said it's good for self-control uh it's good for just body mind spirit balance and harmony in general uh very much so a mind cleanser to really help you calm those emotions and that will in its own way allow you to reach obviously um you know rationality you know you'll be more rational you you know your your mind you know will be clearer and will be more focused common sense uh decision making will be you know usually is improved along those lines everything here uh makes sense and that means at the end of the day that you know your overall stress levels if you're someone like me and stress is is there and you just have to learn to calm it down definitely give hematite a try it's good for really calming that overall mental stress and um, if we want to talk about a little bit about the history behind hematite well if you did not know hematite comes from greek uh, and actually in greek hema means blood funny enough i know it's a bit strange you'd wonder why does it mean blood well you know I wonder, could it be related to the iron content? Now, that's just my theory, guys. This is not proven or anything. I'm thinking it could be maybe that iron content, um, you know, that could have made it associated with blood back then. Maybe not. Could be something else. Uh, but overall, uh, you know, ancient Greeks would have associated hematite with obviously the one and only Mars, which is the god of war which in astrology is associated with that sense of action it's that masculine active uh you know achieving energy that's powerful energy that planet that's ruled by uh that's associated with areas uh you now you understand why areas is so is associated with hematite yes it's the perfect crystal the perfect stone for our hemat for our areas friends out there and uh, but if you're not Aries, you can still go for it, of course. But the idea would be so that uh, back then hematite would be um, broken down into small pieces, then they would crush it and uh, they would use it uh, obviously to um, 
for, for war body war paintings and uh, you know to allow them to be safe and powerful and strong and resilient throughout battle back then which i think is very interesting to make the warrior really um uh, you know powerful and uh, and successful you know to give courage and strength and willpower and uh, yeah you know you'll see there's a lot of correlation like that but yeah definitely uh, usually that would be more so what you will find across history is uh, that connection with hematite along those lines um, it was obviously like many other stones it was used for me medicinal purposes that is absolute throughout the times uh, you know it was used as well in Egypt you'll see a lot of crystals and stones would have also been not just popular in, in ancient Greece but also in ancient Egypt and uh, used you know for overall um, health treatments they would have used hematite for example for anything related to blood uh, anything related to iron um, you know inflammation in the body things like that and uh, yeah that would be more so it now uh, as we said it's associated like more so with Aries, that's really the main uh, star sign. In terms of the chakra healing side of things, as we always talk about that on this channel, hematite is really good for working with the root chakra, which is going to be really helping you to transform those negative energies within you and really allow to um, make space and welcome more more of a positive vibration and in along those lines that makes also hematite a great crystal for overall self-confidence willpower self-esteem and to really provide some sort of of healing and um and uh, you know area in all those areas and because it's very much so that sense of heavy powerful crystal you know would it really because it's associated with that roots chakra and it has that grounding power it is quite heavy like you know i'm going to show you a different one here just so you can guys compare see here i have another one here see it is quite a heavy a heavy mineral you know it's a heavy stone but the thing about it is because of that that connection with the root ch chakra makes it great for security survival that sense of instinct uh you know stability in your energy in your life and um to really allow yourself to really balance out that root chakra so that you become fully uh centered and safe uh in all areas of your life and uh, and stable and just uh, guided protected and release any of those negative energies uh that for example might be uh you know like destabilizing you if that makes sense you know and because of that that makes it great a really great crystal just to show you i have another one here it's slightly different here but you can see all the shimmer here the, the, this is all inclusions of hematite it's very interesting and um, that makes it of course a great crystal for meditation you know how i always like to talk about meditation it's one of those things that you know are very dear to me and um you know it's great for 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 meditation in my eyes uh, because it's really about connecting you to your root to your core self to your foundations and um, you know allow yourself to be like composed and you know not stressed during times that would be considered a bit difficult and um you know connect with that higher self that higher state of self through meditation but at the same time being connected with your inner strength and your inner power and managing to combine those two elements together and if i was to give for example an idea of an affirmation that you can use if you're meditating with the hematite or for example if you're journaling with hematite and you want to really try to channel hematite's beautiful energy i would suggest something along the lines as i am strong and supported i am grounded and connected to the earth that is hematite in a nutshell so yeah 
that will be it then uh i think we've touched on everything i'm just gonna show you uh, i think i've show you everything but yeah you'll see it's more so common like this and in jewelry form it will more so be along those lines here so more of that metallic looking stone. Now, as I said, right now, if you go on the website, if you don't see any hematite jewelry as of yet, it means that we are working on putting it there. Uh, so definitely check it out. If it's not there, I would just suggest to be patient and it will come and we will of course always uh, announce when we get new stones um, to our, through our, uh, oops, through our uh, Jewels and Gems VIP club, our, um, you know newsletter so definitely you make sure you go on the website use and gems shop to uh, to subscribe there so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you give this big video a big thumbs up uh, i hope you enjoyed it and uh let me know in the comment section below guys what do you think about hematite is it a a crystal that you guys have yourself in your collection is it something that maybe now you're contemplating getting your hands on or maybe um you know maybe it's on your wish list please let me know i would love to hear from you and how it resonated with you and um, make sure you let me know if there's anything else you would like to see on this channel because again i always love to hear from you and i'm always open to your beautiful uh, feedback and suggestions so yeah thank you so much guys for watching i wish you all a beautiful day and i will be talking to you soon see you guys